Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Madden 25 Fantasy Draft with the Minnesota Vikings. And if you remember, two episodes ago, I said that I wanted to kind of stop using the pistol offense, the read option offense, because as much as it was getting me results, wasn't really having the most fun using it. I also couldn't really get some what of a passing game going. So last episode, we tried out a little bit of different playbooks. Didn't really, wasn't really my type of thing. So I did a little bit more research and figured out exactly what playbooks we should be using. So offensively, we will be taking after the team that Vince, or Michael Vick was on at this time in the Philadelphia Eagles under Chip Kelly. And defensively, we are also going to run this because I believe at this point in time, D'Amico Ryans was also on the Eagles, if I'm remembering the teams correctly. So a little bit of a different strategy for our game coming up against the division rival Packers. They are bottom of the division. They are not a good team, but they have to have a couple of studs. So let's see who exactly those stud players are. So they have a good kicker, which if your kicker is your best player, you know you made one mistake. Steve Smith Sr. Okay, that's a good poll. Antonio Cromartie, Donald Butler, Evan Mathis. Oh, Mathis is hurt. That doesn't help. Stevie Johnson. Who's their quarterback? Oh, that's right. They have the, yeah, this Dicer guy. I remember him. Actually, I got to make some changes to our team. Now that we're going to be running a kind of new sort of offense, Mike Vick will officially be our starter. Vince Young, the backup. Dennis Dixon at the third string. I'm going to start Le'Veon Bell. And fullback, Greg Jones will stay wide. Receivers actually make a couple of changes. I'm going to be cutting Devon Bess just because, I don't know, it's just, it's not there for me. But we will, uh, I, I, I got to remember the right order to do this. So running backs, I think I'm going to try to bring back Amon Green, just because, why not? Have an extra running back on the team. Wide receivers, going to go ahead and cut Devon Best. I don't ever see him getting any snaps, because if I want, if we get down to that low, where we're having to play our fifth string receiver, I'd rather have a Wusu in there just for his home run ability. So I will be releasing Devon Best. And then from the free agents list, hopefully you can pick up Amon Green. If I can remember, there we go. Improve roster, free agents. Let's go running backs. Alex Green. Does someone pick up Amon Green? Uh, we can just sort it by speed. Because remember he was, he was 92 speed or was he 91? Okay, so someone definitely picked him up. All right, so this means we get to sign an extra running back. So I don't want to sign either of these Smith guys because I don't know who they are. But I'm gonna sign. I'm gonna sign Denard Robinson. I'm gonna sign him. We're gonna make him our starting running back. Unless we can make him our third down back. No, we'll keep Le'Veon at third down back. We'll move Robinson up to starting running back. Have him and Smith be our running backs. Brandon Jacobs be a power back. And Le'Veon Bell, the third down back. Because between Robinson and Smith, same speed. Obviously, Robinson is a lot less strength. But I'm not expecting him to have a whole lot of strength. They, were, I, can't, I can't believe they already moved him to running back in this game. I thought he would still be a quarterback for his first year in the league. But I guess they, yeah, they, yeah, they did make him. So yeah, he's got good, he's got better catching than Smith, so you know. Hey, what are you going to do? Might as well try something new, huh? Alright, with all that being said, let's go on ahead and hop into his game. So you can see, Eagles playbooks, uniforms, you know, we'll rock the basic away. All right, let's get into the game. All right, third and 13. Smith. Jimmy Smith, baby. All right, so on that drive, we had two sacks in a row and then an interception. What a start for this defense. All right, we're going to go slants middle, and we're looking at Amendola because, well, that's what he does. 
That is what he does. Danny Amendola, slant route, gets you seven yards every single time. Might as well engrave it in stone because of how reliable it is. All right, they're going to go ahead and kick the field goal here, make it 7-3 to three with about four minutes, ten seconds left in the first half. I am completely okay with this. Good bend, don't break defensive drive. And offense gets a chance to score again. All right, we're going to go slot cross. Got Amendola on the hopeful touchdown route, as long as I get enough time to let that route develop. You know, we'll just take Victor Cruz, I guess, you know. If we have to, I guess I'll go to my second read. But not a touchdown for us. Victor Cruz doing his nice little dance in front of the pretty mixed Lambeau crowd. I see a lot of purple in there, so pretty obvious that we are we're going to be the good team. We're going to win this game. All right, we're in prevent. They're going five wide. Well, we're not in prevent. We're in quarter. Guess pass cover two man spy. Pretty much a staple of this defense. Whoa! Let's go on ahead and go four verts. I mean, four verts has gotten us this far. Why stop, I guess? Ooh! Rifled into Danny Amendola there. Right over the shoulder of the linebacker. And Amendola's having another career day. You know, I don't use him much outside of the red zone, but once we get in that red zone... He's pretty much the only person I'm ever going to look for because he is just so good. I mean, look at that. Right over the, I think it's Adam Pacman Jones' shoulder. Just late hands, excellent catch. And that's his third touchdown of the game, I do believe. All right, we're going to try a jet sweep to Brandon Banks. Looks like it's an overall blitz from the left, so this should work out really well. And it did. Worked out extremely well. And that's yet another touchdown on yet another flawless offensive drive. And, I mean, I think we might have... This might be the greatest offense I've ever had on Madden 25. All right, we're going field goal safe man, because obviously they are on the one-yard line. And this could very well be a fake. It will not be they take the kick. And we still have a 15-point lead, so honestly, we stopped him at the one-yard line. Nice little goal line stand. I'm okay with a field goal. All right, we've already done it once. Why not try it again? Another jet sweep with Brandon Banks. Woo! Yes, let's go, Brandon! Brandon Banks, second jet sweep touchdown of the game. Him and Amendola are absolutely having insane games. And perfect time to do it against a division rival. This could be interesting. And there's a pick for Darius Butler. There we go. Icing on the cake. I mean, game was already over, but just to make sure that they know it's over. Nice interception. All right, Smith is in for the first time this game because of the unfortunate injury to Denard Robinson. But he will pick up where Robinson left off, getting a nice touchdown. And... And be honest, if it wasn't the Packers we were playing, I probably wouldn't have scored there, but division rival, I feel like it is my duty to simply just rub it in one last time. It's supposed to be rubbed the middle, they're in goal line, bounced outside. Good block by Cruz. Easy, easy, easy touchdown. I mean, look at this. Nobody there. Cruz, amazing block. And just rub it in their face a little bit more. Um, at this time of the game, I should not be going for this. But I want to. And I should not have. It's okay. He already has 14 interceptions on the season. What's one more going to do, for being honest? Plus, that should have been Darius Hayward Bay in that position. 
not banks. So, you know, whatever. We'll take it. Game's over. Who cares? Congrats, Packers. You did one good thing on defense all game long and took until garbage time. So a very, 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 very convincing and good win for us. 42 to 13. Total stats. I mean, we rushed for 175 yards while also still having 238 passing yards. Other than some garbage drives at the end, they would not have had that many passing yards. So I will take it any day of the week. Mike Vick, 13, 133 quarterback rating, 13 completions on 17 attempts, 252 yards, three touchdowns. The interception at the end was late, so I really don't count it. Rushing the ball, Jannard Robinson, 10 carries, 97 yards. Brandon Banks, 3 carries, 55 yards, and 2 touchdowns. Jacobs had some. Michael Smith had 2 carries towards the end, but amazing job from everyone there. Tony G, 3 catches, 70 yards. Le'Veon Bell had a slip screen that went 51 yards. Amendola in the red zone, he's going to get 2 touchdowns. Banks got a big one. Hayward Bay got a big one. Cruz was solid. Blocking, 3 pancakes from our right tackle. Insane. Duke Williams led the team in tackles. Sack from KJ Wright and Jared Allen. Interception from Darius Beller and Jimmy Smith. Kicking. No field goals needed today. Kick return didn't do anything. Palm return didn't do anything. But we did get a much deserved and pretty necessary win. 42 to 13. A win that big should not be taken lightly. And it will not be taken lightly. And definitely safe to say the Philadelphia Eagles playbooks are the ones that we're going to use for hopefully the rest of the season since we should keep getting these results. And next week we play against the Chicago Bears. They're 5-6. And, and we also have a chance to, depending on how the Lions result goes, lock up the division. So make sure you guys subscribe so you can see when the next episode comes out. And hopefully I will see you all then.